Good evening, beloveds. It is Thursday. It's May the 21st. We have been talking about the Holy Spirit and how um, we've actually been kind of doing a little bit different how we've been comparing the Holy Spirit to different objects in our life and objects that we find at home. And, um, and the first thing we talked about was the fact that he is kind of like eyeglasses and we have to put our glasses on when we want to see, right? So we talk about the fact that, um, we talked about the fact that eyeglasses help us to see the world around us, just like the Holy Spirit helps us to see um, the world around us, helps us to see God in, at work, helps us to see when we need to lend a helping hand. Um, the Holy Spirit does that for us. We also talked the la during our last devotional, we talked about how um, the fact that the Holy Spirit is like a blanket, Remember, remember we got all cozy with our blankets and we talked about how a blanket, it kind of comforts us. It makes us feel better. It, it kind of makes us all warm and cozy. Well, that's what the Holy Spirit, we compared him to a blanket because he, he's our comforter. He kind of comforts us. But today I want you to think about when you get in the car and you go somewhere, there's this, you're most likely going to run into something we're going to compare the Holy Spirit to today. And that is um, the stoplight. And you know, remember if we, um, if the stoplight is green, then that means we can go. If the stoplight is yellow, it's kind of to take caution, be slow. And then sometimes it's red. And it means to stop. And we, we have to stop at the stoplight. So let's think about how, sorry, the my computer's on my lap. Um, and so it's kind of all over the place. Um, let's talk about how the Holy Spirit is like a stoplight. And I got, I was looking around for what I was going to talk to you about the Holy Spirit because we've learned so much already. But this is very important to think about the Holy Spirit is our stoplight. It's kind of like our conscience. Have you ever heard that before about, you know, um, listen to your heart or listen to what your conscience tells you? Well, that is your, it, that's the Holy Spirit talking to you. And sometimes we get the feeling um, we're in a situation. Maybe we're, maybe we're at the cafeteria at school and you see your friend or your buddy and and he's having a hard time holding his lunch and holding his backpack and you're like oh, i need to help him and you get up and you help him well that's kind of like the holy spirit giving you the green light you know without a doubt that that's that's what you should do well but then there are times that you might see something going on and maybe it's a fight between friends or maybe um, it's a, a disagreement outside about a, a game that they're playing at recess or, or maybe your younger siblings or your older siblings are, are talking and, and there's maybe some facts they're not telling truthfully and and you feel like you want to get involved, but you're not sure because you're afraid that if you get involved, then you might make it worse. Well, that's kind of like the yellow light. That's, that's, that's the Holy Spirit telling you to let's slow down. Let's think about this. How are we going to handle it? And, and let's see if we need to proceed. Let's see if we do need to get involved, if we need to do something. Um, then you have those times that the Holy Spirit puts up the red light, turns that light, that stoplight red. Those are times when there might be a temptation. Um, maybe, oh my goodness, you're at the grocery store with mom and you ask her if you can have... Um, maybe a candy bar or some gum. And she says, you know what? Not today. I, 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 you know, we can't do it today. Maybe another day. And you think, well, all I have to do 
is pick that up and have it. It would be so easy to put that candy bar in my pocket. Have you ever had times like that where you've been tempted to take something? Or you're in trouble and, and you know you did something wrong, but all you have to do is blame it on your little sister? Um, maybe there's a time when you're at school and you have not studied for that quiz or that test and it would be so easy to look over um, to the person next to you and take their answers. You know, it'd be so easy. But it's times like that that you know we're wrong. And that is the Holy Spirit putting up the red light and saying, no, we don't do that. That's not who you are. So I want you to think about times during the day where, you know, there are moments where we um, hear or we feel that the Holy Spirit is holding up that that green light where, you know, you see a neighbor and she's caught, maybe she's carrying in her groceries and you know that her hands are full and you know that you're supposed to go help her. Or maybe you um, see your little, your little brother um, on their bike and, and they're having a hard time. They're struggling. They're just learning. And so, you know, to help them. Well, that's, that's the Holy Spirit saying, you know, that's the right thing to do. That's, that's holding up the green light. And then we talk about the yellow light and how we're supposed to slow down. You know, those situations that we're not quite sure that we might need to take a minute and think about it. You know, there are times, uh, you know, I gave kind of some examples before, but I think about times like when we get angry. And somebody's done us wrong and, and they've, they've hurt our feelings or maybe they lied on us and we want to go up to them and just tell them just how mean they are and how horrible they are. And, but you know what? Sometimes there's a wet, better way to approach it, a more kind way, a more Jesus-like way. And that's kind of when the Holy Spirit is giving you that yellow light. Let's proceed with caution. Let's be careful about how we approach this. You know, because some things that happen aren't lo worth losing our best friend over just because we're mad at the moment. That maybe there's a misunderstanding. Maybe there's a situation that you don't um, quite know what's going on. And so we need to be careful with our words because we can't, once we say those words, we can't take them back. So we want to proceed with caution. We want to be careful. And then there are those times that it's very obvious that the Holy Spirit is giving us the red light and saying, no, that is, you know better. We should not go down that path. That's something you should not do, whether it's taking that candy bar, or lying to mom and blaming something on your little, your little sister, or, you know, um, cheating on that test or, or not, or, you know, lying to your teacher about your homework. You know, things like that. So I want you to, any time that you're in a situation, think about that. Think about, is the Holy Spirit, is, is his stoplight on, on green? Is it on yellow or is it on red? All right, beloveds, I want you to think about that. Um, all right, so it is Thursday, like I said, and and I hope that you have a, a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I will not be coming to you this coming Monday um, because it is Memorial Day. And um, Mr. Brian and I will be cele celebrating our anniversary. We'll be married 24 years on Monday. So we're going to celebrate and, and all of our kids, um, including our new addition, um, You'll be meeting her very, very soon, I promise. Um, and, um, but we will be celebrating on Monday. So I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day. We will be coming to you in worship on Sunday. And so I'll see you then. But know that I love you. Know that I miss you like crazy. And I know you are just growing up on me. Um, and, you know, Tyler celebrated his birthday yesterday. Mr. Tyler is seven. So um, if you if you can send some some birthday 
um, pray, say some birthday prayers for Tyler. And we love him so much, and we love all of you. And we just hope that you have a wonderful, fabulous weekend. Um, but before we go, let's say a prayer, and then I'm going to let you go. And, and then you can go on with your evening, and I'll see you later. All right, here we go. Dear God, we are so grateful for the Holy Spirit, for all the things that he does for us, for the the comforter that he is, for the eyes that helps us to see those things around us. And Lord, we are so grateful that he's kind of like our spot, our stoplight, you know, telling us when things are, when we can, when we can, um, gives us permission to do things or, or gives us a good peace about doing things. And, and then that yellow light that helps us to take, to realize that we need to, to be slow. We need to, to, to take some minute a minute or two take some time to think about the situation and then we have the red light that tells us absolutely no do not go forward that we are to stop what we're doing or what we're thinking about doing because it's not right it's not good for us and it's certainly not in honor of god lord help us to to think about him and, and ask him into our our life daily and during our everyday activities and and allow him to guide our steps. It's in Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, beloveds, I love you so much and remember I'm not I won't see you on Monday. I'll be I'll see you on Sunday, but I won't see you on Monday. So, I'll be back next Thursday, okay? I, again, I love you. I miss you so much. See you soon.